here we go. Yeah, so what you just saw right there is obviously uh, Ian Flynn basically confirming that what you've been seeing, obviously, with uh, Sonic and Blaze, relaxed. They're just sightseeing. They're just having a good time as friends. That's it. Nothing more. But apparently a lot of you, uh, 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 but apparently a lot of you Son Ace fans took this out of context, as I knew you would. Let's be real here. Even Ian Flynn, you know, felt a little bit uncomfortable answering that, uh, answering that question. He was basically just saying, like, oh, my God, this fucking fandom. They won't shut up about it. And, of course, the way he said it is, there's no winning in this. He's absolutely correct, because, again, you can't please everybody. He knows this already. Like I said, because you're going to have one side one side bitching and complaining that they're not going to get this uh, this ship. But, at the other hand, you have people like myself who are saying, like, well, of course, because this makes no sense. I mean, why the hell would I support a ship like this, which it makes no logical sense? They're not being heavily advertised. Like, no. You know, and to a lot of you naysayers out there, like, seriously, man, grow the hell up. Like, seriously, why the hell would, would Sonic consider being anybody else other than Amy? Sega of Japan would never approve that. She's basically the Minnie Mouse to Sonic's Mickey Mouse. When are you going to learn to accept that already? And by the way, he also name-dropped that Amy Rose is not that person anymore. She's not clingy. She's not a fangirl anymore. She's not who she used to be. You know, she has different character, character uh, development, like I said she would. You know, there's a reason for that. And yet, a lot of you are still bitching and complaining that she doesn't have that character trait anymore. I think a lot of you really like that character trait, honestly, just because, all right, perfect. It gives Sonic an excuse to be with other women. He could be with Blaze. He could be with Rouge. He could be with, with all these other, uh, you know, cr uh, you know, ships that you all want. That's the real reason why a lot of you motherfuckers wanted uh, Amy to be a crazy stalker chick. Because you wanted Sonic to have that flexibility to go try out to be with other uh, females that's the real reason now that you know her character got changed and all that now you realize oh now sonic has settled down with amy because she's a changed person now and now sonic feels comfortable being around her that's the real reason why you motherfuckers you know didn't like uh the, the fact that amy's character got changed you never gave a damn about her in the past you only wanted her to act that way so sonic would have an easy excuse not to be with her or settle be settled down with her that's the real reason huh the truth hurts doesn't it but again, Son Amy Channel, thank you for this information right here. And I know you've been dealing with a lot of these dumbass trolls uh, as of late. You know, again, you know, it, this is, you know, again, I'm in the shipping wars. I had no idea it was this fucking toxic compared to the shit I normally deal with uh, on social media or in general. But man, like, why even do that? Like, why would Son why would, why would Sonic and Blaze pairing make any sense compared to Silver and Blaze? Answer me that at least. Why would that make any sense? You would think that the Blaze and Silver would make the most sense of them being together. I mean, wouldn't you agree? I mean, in one of my game scripts, I even have an emotional ending for both of them during during a cutscene. But after hearing all of this, if you assholes are going to be acting this toxic, I may just drop that all together and just uh, scrap it. Unbelievable. You know, seriously, man. Like, a few Sané shippers, you know, they hate us for exposing the truth. Absolutely, they hate us for exposing the truth because they realize, yeah, we have the evidence to back it up. They refuse to acknowledge it. Again, they don't care about facts. They only care about emotion. Seriously, man, they live in denial and they keep antagonizing, you know, Son Amy channel. They keep antagonizing me, saying we don't know what we're talking about, even though we have the facts right here. It's fucking crazy, man. And they all live in their own fucking echo chamber. What I said earlier about the whole Amy Rose situation, that's the real reason why you assholes, you know, uh, don't like her character development. And because... That was your easy way out. Not anymore. And to all these detractors, cry all you want, and I'll be drinking your fucking tears for fuel. Hmm, <laughs> delicious. Everybody let me know what y'all think about this, and I gotta go. Peace out.